January 22nd, this Easy Mart on Weddington requested a beer license. Although the flooding around Arkansas was the talk of the town, high winds did great damage as well. Here in our own backyard at the Donald W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium, you can see that they're having to restucco the back of the projection screen. These windows on the new JBH building not only give it a modern look, but they also provide natural sunlight, which is one of the main components of sustainable design. Thanks to Pixar, we've seen the world through the eyes of toys, cars, fish, monsters, and now a trash compacting robot named Wally. The Olympic torch, a ritual that has stood the test of time. Although the ceremony looks traditional, it was anything but in San Francisco. Everyone knew Patrick Beverly was dismissed from the team, but no one knew why or where he was going. At least now we can answer one of those questions. Some lead by example. Others lead vocally. Shelley House does both. Over 300 transfer students were on the U of A campus today, following Shelley, their first year experience mentor around their new home. Shelley herself is a transfer student, which helps her understand some of the struggles transfers may go through like how to get financial aid and scholarships when you already have college hours on your transcript, which can be exceptionally difficult, even if you have a really good GPA and a really good record. Shelley has been working as a mentor for over a year, using her personal experience to help others. Throughout the semester, if they have any questions at all, I really want them to get in touch with me, and a lot do. Shelley doesn't simply tour the campus with students, showing them the iconic places like Old Main. She gives them the advice on which professors to choose, and how to handle studying abroad. A transfer student messaged me throughout the semester about um, a time frame of when to apply for study abroad, what scholarships to get, and things like that. Even though orientation lasts a single day, Shelley helps students for a lifetime. Reporting for UATV, I'm Jay Martin. Over 1,000 games have been played since John Pelfrey proudly wore the Kentucky Wildcat uniform. Two national championships and nine SEC tournaments won since the 92 season. Yet there's only one team known as the Unforgettables. Seniors John Pelfrey, Darren Feldhaus, Richie Farmer, and Sean Woods led the Wildcats to the Elite Eight in 1992, where they would lose to Duke in double overtime in what is known as one of the greatest college basketball games in history. Saturday marked the first time John Pelfrey returned to Rupp Arena in Kentucky as a head coach. I knew there was going to be a flood of, of memories and emotions go through me when um, I got back in the building, driving up into the parking lot. I love this place when I played. It, it, it's, you know, I had a deep affection for it. It meant something to me. Pelfrey isn't remembered as one of the greatest to ever walk through the halls of Kentucky, but he is remembered as one of the few players that restored life and hope into Rupp Arena. Kentucky is known for its powerful tradition, something Coach John Pelfrey hasn't forgotten. Still very humbled about having a chance to play here. Had great coaches, great teammates. Very, very fortunate. Very, very fortunate. Reporting for UATV, I'm Jay Martin. Televisions are turning off while computers are turning on. Today's society can watch funny videos on the ever-growing website YouTube, receive cooking lessons from the Food Network, or watch movie trailers from the most anticipated movies. Miss it by that much. Of course, all this wouldn't be possible without Mark Cuban. Mark and Partners sold Broadcast.com in 1999 to Yahoo, making video streaming possible, something used widely around the globe. The quality of the streaming is obviously a lot better, but the concept's all the same. And really, the limitations are still all the same, too. You're still going to get buffering. You're still going to get people who can't get on, just because the Internet's not a medium for broadcast television. Although it might not be the best medium for broadcast television, all major networks are placing their top-rated programs online. ABC's Desperate Housewives, NBC's The Office, and CBS's How I Met Your Mother are all featured online. With video streaming accessible to anyone, even the University of Arkansas has made its way to the Internet. So this year, I'm going to take you on a guided tour. Letting you... While video streaming has improved, there's still a great deal of work left to be done. Reporting for UATV, I'm Jay Martin. Our Welcome to the Sideline, the show that brings perspective to the fan. I'm Jay Martin. Right after showing signs of life by winning the series against Florida 2-1, to one, the Hogs dropped another to Oral Roberts on Tuesday night. The Hogs now have six consecutive home games at Baum Stadium to gain some momentum, but Baum hasn't been much of a home so far. The Razorbacks have lost six of their last eight games at Baum Stadium, not the record most would expect. 
Tennessee does come in as the second worst road team in the SEC at 3-7 just in front of Mississippi State. The producer of Survivor, Mark Burnett, will have to outwit, outplay, and outlast his ex-business partner in court over a $70 million dispute. On Monday, Conrad Riggs filed a lawsuit saying Burnett neglected to pay him 10% of the show's profits, which he was owed based on a long-standing verbal agreement. Although Riggs was offered a contract to formalize the agreement in 2007, Riggs declined because he says the terms of the contract differed from their previous arrangement. The two men produced more than a dozen shows together, including conceptualizing the show Survivor. Welcome to the Water Cooler, one of the best places to get a quick talk about sports and at the workplace. Yesterday was the McDonald's All-American Game, and there were a couple of familiar faces, including Willie Warren, the standout from North Crowley High School in Texas. Willie's an outstanding prospect heading to Oklahoma, and if Blake Griffin, this year's outstanding freshman for Oklahoma, returns, Sooner should be a force in the Big 12. Willie is a 6'4 guard with a lot of muscle, and he carried North Crowley all season long, winning the titles at the Whataburger Classic and Holiday Hoops here at Bud Walton, and he happened to win the 5A state title in Texas against the likes of a Duncanville, who was third in the nation. 